everyone, this is the Metal Out here, and today, as you can see straight away, yes, my hair is gone. No, my hair is gone. After two years, it's gone now. Yep. After two years of having long hair, I decided to cut it all off and go back to having short hair. Now, with this, I got a shitload of mixed reactions. My hair reaction was from my, one of my friends in town who literally had like a... Say not say a short, but he went like crazy when he saw my short hair. He was like, "No, no, 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 just no!" And then he just shut the door and he left. It was really funny to watch that. In all honesty, like it was pretty, pretty fucking funny to see him react to that. But yeah, I cut my hair, and I'm gonna tell you why. The reason this is because it's been literally two years since I had a proper haircut, since I properly, like, shaped my haircut differently, you know what I mean? And I thought that taking care of long hair is like, quite of a hassle. It takes a long time to get it done perfect, like, I mean, especially with the fact that once I come out of the shower, my hair is all wet, and it's like, oh shit, no, I have to do this and that. It's like, if I blow dry my hair, it's gonna be absolutely disgusting. It's gonna be all over the place, it's gonna be shit, and it's gonna be disgusting. If I leave my hair down without blow drying it, it will become like wavy, but it's gonna look really weird, it doesn't look nice. If I straighten my hair, it looks really bad. It just looks really shit on me. Straight hair does not go well with my shit, my head. And the fact that I shed a lot while having long hair, I mean seriously, my, hair, my room is probably full of hair everywhere because of the long hair I had. It was crazy to take care of, like, in all honesty, it was crazy. So I decided, you know what, I'm gonna cut this off, and if I feel like it, I'll gotta grow it out again, but at the moment, I'm gonna enjoy having my short hair because it's a pain in the ass. And I mean, it's a real pain in the ass to keep it, keep it long. It really is a pain in the ass. I cut my hair as well because I think it really does make me look a bit mature, a bit more mature than have my long hair. I mean, it was a lot of fun having long hair. Honestly, it was a lot of fun at shows. It was a lot of fun at, like, gigs and stuff. It was absolutely hilarious. It was awesome. And, I mean, I do love doing the windows. I do love headbanging like crazy. But I realized that you don't really need the long hair to do that. And so I cut it off. So that's that. It was my decision to cut it off. It wasn't anybody else's. Last time I had the short hair was back in 2013, around November time. That's when I first started growing out my hair, where I started getting the whole side things going on and everything else. And thinking about it, it's crazy. Like, it is crazy. I think I need to make a memorial for my hair. I will remember you. In all fairness, like, I think I should make that. Not really, I won't. I won't. Because it's just hair. But, like, in all honesty, like, I had some, some great memories with having long hair. I mean,. I got Siege, then I went to Chelsea Green this summer, last summer, uh, we went to Chelsea Green around June time, and it was a lot of fun, and to be honest, I enjoyed the hell out of it. So that's that, that's the end of the story from my hair. And now one last thing I want to talk about is a game that I've gotten so fucking addicted to, even though I finished it already, but it is so much fun, is a game on Android called Monument Valley. This game is fucking amazing, I mean honestly, I played this game, I had about... I bought this game about two, three days ago, and I finished it already, all of it, all the ten chapters plus the other eight, I finished everything. And I still feel like I want to play more, this game is so addicting, it is so beautiful, it's so amazing. If you're into puzzle games, this game is for you, this game is absolutely gorgeous, it is so amazing, it is so addictive, I mean honestly, I started playing the first level thinking, oh, this is going to be a decent game, you know, it, lo it looks good, I mean it looks good, it looks nice. But the thing is, once you start playing, you get immense so much, it's like, I don't know what time is it, I don't know how long I'm playing this game for, but I don't care, because it's so much fun. This game is like, jeez, wow, it, it's it's so addicting, like, the second you start playing it, you'll not you'll feel like you're immense in this world already. And the fact you have this silent protagonist throughout the whole game, and you don't, you don't really have a story, you just have these puzzles that, and you kind of make up your own story in a way, but it has like small bits of a story in it, and... It, you kind of form everything else and it's like it doesn't give you a lot of information but it doesn't need to because it's so amazingly done like and in all honesty i think this is a fantastic game if you're really into puzzle games this is something you should definitely check out i played this game i'm telling you for two three days and i cannot stop playing it i'm replaying it again because it's so much fun like it's it's so much fun like
Well, I guess that's pretty much it, to be honest, because there isn't that much I could say anything else, so hope you enjoyed this video. This was the Met Lad, and I'll see you guys in the next video.